Welcome to Lesson 6 in Somatic Movement Patterns. Lessons for Controlling the Muscles of the Waist, Part 2. In this lesson, I'll be teaching you lateral movements of flexion. So we're going to start by lying over onto our side. Now, I'm going to position myself on my left side. You have to adjust accordingly as a viewer at home. Bend the knees up so that the knees are approximately perpendicular to the torso, about 90 degrees in front. And if you're comfortable, you can pillow your head right on your arm. If that's not comfortable and you need to get an extra pillow for your head, that's fine. From this position, I'd like you to take your right arm, the one that's on top, and reach over the top of your head. Now, I want you to be careful. Don't come, don't come in front of your head and don't reach behind your head. Come right across the midline or the sideline of the head and put your fingers right over your left ear. Now, from this position, I want you to gently lift your head as you exhale, rolling the head up and then gently lowering the head back down. And do that again. Exhale. And lift. Never to any point of strain. Keep it comfortable. And ease back down. Exhale and lift. Now you may be aware as you lift that you are recruiting the muscles on the side of your body, the flank muscles, right beneath the fingers here. And now gently release those muscles as you ease back down. Try that again one more time. Lift the head. and slowly lower. That's our first component. Now you can relax your arms as we focus on component two. Component two will have you lifting up your top foot. So the foot is going to come up. Now I want you to be careful to keep the knees together. Don't lift the knees away from each other. And put the foot down. Try that again. The foot comes up, and you'll notice that when the foot comes up, the hip comes up also, shortening the flank on the right side. Relax the foot, and the flank relaxes. Now, if you want to feel that more directly, you can take the fingers of your hand, and you can press them into this soft tissue area below the ribs and above the upper ridge of the pelvis. And you'll notice as you, even as you begin, before you actually lift that leg, you'll feel those muscles drawing into a contracted state. And lift the foot up. And slowly put the foot back down. And try that one more time. The foot comes up. Now you may notice at this point that just as the muscles on the top side shorten, the muscles on the underside of the opposite flank lengthen out. So in order for anything to shorten, any muscles to shorten in your body, other muscles have to relax and lengthen. Ease your foot down. Now, let's put those two components together. Reach again with your right hand across the top of your head and clasp onto your left ear. Now from here, exhale and lift the head and the foot together. And slowly back down. Inhale and lift. and slowly back down. 
Inhale and lift. Slowly down. One more time. Lift. And lower. Now at this point I'm going to introduce a simple variation, which is elective. You can try this if you think it will be comfortable for you. Up until this point I've been using my left arm as a pillow for my head. When I practice I like to move the arm out of the way. Lift and slowly lower all the way down to the floor. But I want you to be very gingerly with this. Only do this if you feel it would be comfortable for your neck. Try it again. Inhale and lift. And slowly down. Up. and down. Up. And down. Now here I'm going to introduce a second variation. Instead of merely rolling your head up, Let's use the right hand on the left ear to lengthen that ear up away from the left shoulder first. And then lift. And down. Lengthening the left side of the neck first. And lift. and down. Now I'm going to reposition my left arm into pillow position. Same thing, lengthening the left side of the neck. Up and down. One more time. Lengthen and lift. Slowly lower and completely relax. You can rest your right arm to the front. Now in preparation to do these same sequence of movements on the opposite side of the body, viewers at home will probably want to simply roll from one side over onto the other side. In order that you have the optimal vantage, I'm going to reorganize myself so that I continue facing towards the camera. So I'm going to roll over this way. And we'll do the same movements now on the left side of the body. So would you start by bringing your attention initially to the left foot and we're going to lift that foot up. Make sure that your feet are perpendicular to the torso and again the foot comes up and the foot lowers. Lift that left foot up, feel the muscles in the torso working here and down. The foot comes up. Now you can feel the movement of this left hip as it shortens. And down. And one more time. Bring that left foot up. And lower it down. Now would you bring the left hand across over the top of the head, clasp onto the left ear and roll the head up and down and roll your head up 
and down. And roll your head up. And slowly down. Now let's put the two movements together. We're going to exhale as you lift the head and lift the foot. And down. Exhale and lift. Slowly release. Lift. Slowly release. One more time. Lift. And lower. Now here, we're going to revisit that first variation. I'm going to move my arm out of the way. You can try this if you feel comfortable with it. Lift. Ease your head down. Up. And down. Lift. And lower. Here we're going to revisit our second variation. Take the left hand and draw the right ear higher away from the right shoulder and then lift and down and again elongate the right side of the neck and lift and lower down if you want you can reestablish your right arm as it, into its pillow position Lengthening the right side of the neck and lift and down. And we'll do that one more time. Up and down you go. Now at this point you can roll yourself comfortably over onto your back. Take a relaxing breath. And roll yourself over and back up into a sitting position. This concludes our lessons for learning how to control the muscles of the waist. Thank you. Thank you.